Welcome back, everybody, to another deep dive. This time we're going through the release notes for LibreOffice 25.2. Cool. Yeah. So for those who aren't familiar with LibreOffice, uh, it's a really, really great free and open source yeah. uh, alternative to some of those big name office suites out there. Yeah. And it just keeps getting better with every single update. It really does. So we're going to break down some of the most important changes and improvements so you can get a feel for whether or not this release is something you want to check out. Yeah, think of this as like a a guided tour through the release notes. Right. We'll highlight the what, but also the so what. Exactly. We'll cover everything from writer and calc uh, to general improvements and even some scripting stuff. So oh, wow. There's bound to be something for everyone, no matter how you use LibreOffice. Yeah, I think what's interesting is that uh, you know, when you look at all of these updates together, it shows that there's a real focus on usability and accessibility. Yeah. And even like catering to those power users who want to get the most out of the software. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's dive into what's new, starting with Writer. Okay. Our trusty word processor. Yeah. You know how annoying it can be when you're working on a huge document? Yes. And there's tons of edits? Oh my goodness. Well, they've made tracking changes so much easier in this release. Okay. I'm listening. So imagine you're looking at a highlighted change right. Okay. With a single click, it takes you right to the corresponding entry in the Manage Changes window. Oh, cool. No more scrolling endlessly to find the right comment or edit. Oh, that's a time saver for sure, especially when you're collaborating on a large document with multiple people. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've worked on a huge report and just keeping track of all the changes was a nightmare. Right. This oh. feature would have made things so much smoother. For sure. Yeah. And it really streamlines that whole review and editing process. Yeah. And speaking of smoother workflows, okay. they've also made some important improvements to DOCX import. Oh. We're talking about how fonts are handled when they're not available on your system and how those tricky line objects are transformed. So this is all about ensuring greater fidelity when you're importing documents from Microsoft Word. Right. Right, because before you might have encountered missing fonts or distorted images, and that could really throw off your formatting. Oh, for sure. So these updates aim to address those challenges and make the transition from Word to LibreOffice as seamless as possible. Yeah, so it's all about making sure your documents look the way they're supposed to, no matter where they originated. Yeah. Okay, another small but significant tweak they've made is with boundaries. Boundaries. You know, boundaries. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So think of boundaries, like those invisible boxes yeah. that define where text flows on a page. Okay. Kind of like lanes on a highway. I gotcha. So they've made it so you can now toggle these boundaries independently from formatting marks. Oh, okay. Which can be really helpful for visual clarity. So imagine having a cleaner workspace where you can focus on your content without all those extra lines and symbols cluttering things up. Oh yeah, it's like decluttering your digital desk. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now you have more control over what you see on the screen, reduces distractions, and makes it easier to focus on the task at hand. I like it. And speaking of visual improvements, I have VA Gay to show you the new default bullets for unordered list. Oh. Remember those old fashioned clunky bullet points oh, yeah. that made documents look like they were stuck in the 90s? Oh, I remember those days. Well, say goodbye to those relics because they've updated the default bullets in Writer and they look so much cleaner and more modern. Oh, nice. It's a small change, but it makes a big difference in how professional your documents look. I agree. It's those subtle details that really elevate the overall aesthetic. Yeah. It shows they're paying attention to how people are using the software and making improvements that actually enhance the visual experience. For sure. For sure. And while we're talking about making things look good and function, well, we can't forget about accessibility. Of course. So the accessibility sidebar got some great updates, including the option to ignore specific warnings. Oh, that's great. So this is a thoughtful addition because it recognizes that every user has different needs and preferences. Yeah. Some might find certain accessibility checks unnecessary or even disruptive to their workflow. Right. So now they have the flexibility to customize their experience and only see the warnings that are relevant to them. It's all about giving users more control and creating a more personalized experience. Right, exactly. Now let's shift gears and talk about Calc. Okay. The spreadsheet powerhouse. Yes. You know how crucial it is to know if auto-calculate is on or off? Absolutely. One wrong setting there and your calculations could be completely off. Right. Especially if you're dealing with complex formulas. Absolutely. Well, now there's a handy icon right in the status bar that tells you at a glance whether auto-calculate is active or not. Oh, fantastic. No more guessing games or accidental errors. That's a great improvement. 
And this next update is one I'm personally excited about. Okay. They've added a handle duplicate records dialog to calc. Oh, nice. So remember those times you had to manually search for and remove duplicate entries in your spreadsheet? Oh, yeah. I remember those days, too. Talk about a tedious task. Oh, tell me about it. Uh. We'll say goodbye to manual data wrangling because this new dialog makes it super easy to identify and remove duplicate records. Fantastic. It streamlines the data cleaning process, saves you tons of time, and lets you focus on the more interesting parts of your analysis. That's a great example of how LibreOffice is making data analysis more accessible to everyone. Yes. You don't have to be a spreadsheet wizard to clean up your data and get meaningful insights. Exactly. And for those who are spreadsheet wizards, yeah. they've made some pretty significant under-the-hood improvements to Solver. Okay. You can now save your Solver models. Nice. Which is incredibly helpful for complex calculations you might use repeatedly. And don't forget about the detailed sensitivity analysis reports. Yes. Those give you a deeper understanding of how different variables impact your results. It's like having a magnifying glass for your calculations. Right. Definitely a win for anyone who works with complex models and needs to make sure their results are reliable. Absolutely. Okay, now let's move on to impress and draw and see what new goodies they have in store for us. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see what they've come up with. First up. Impress Now lets you automatically repeat slides, even when you're not in full-screen presentation mode. Oh, cool. So think about those times where you might want to display slides in a window alongside other content, like in a kiosk or an information display. Oh, that's a really handy feature for those situations. Right. Or even just for previewing your slides while you're working on them without having to go into full-screen mode. Yeah. It's all about flexibility and making the software work the way you need it to. Right. And speaking of creative freedom, you can now add those cool text glow effects to shapes in Impress. So you want to make your presentation titles pop or highlight important information. Those subtle effects can really add depth and visual interest to your presentations. Yeah. It's a nice touch that shows they're paying attention to the visual design aspect of Impress and giving users more creative tools to work with. Absolutely. And last but not least for this section, Draw has improved support for clipping stroke paths in imported PDFs. Nice. So this might sound technical, but basically it ensures that the visual fidelity of those imported PDFs is maintained down to those intricate details. Well, okay. It's particularly important for users who rely on Draw for precise design work where every line and curve matters. Right. So it's making sure that your designs translate accurately no matter the file format. Exactly. And speaking of making things work smoothly across different platforms. Let's talk about some general improvements that benefit all LibreOffice users. Exactly. Coming up, we'll explore some of those general enhancements that make LibreOffice even better for everyone. So macOS users out there, get ready to celebrate. Oh, why is that? Because you can now preview LibreOffice files directly in Finder using Quick Look. Oh, wow. No more opening files just to see what's inside. That's fantastic. Right. Yeah. It's a small change. Right. But it can save you a lot of time in the long run. Absolutely. Imagine just being able to quickly skim through all those documents without having to wait for each one to load. Right. It just makes the whole file management process so much smoother. Efficiency is key. Yeah. And here's a fun one for all the personalization enthusiasts out there. Okay, I like it already. You can now customize the application theme independently from your system theme. Oh, cool. So if you want to rock dark mode in LibreOffice uh -huh. while keeping your system in light mode, yeah, go for it. <laughs> I love that. Right. It gives people the control over their experience that they want. Yeah. Because not everybody wants the same thing. Exactly. It recognizes that people have different preferences yeah. and what works for one person might not work for another. It's all about creating that workspace that feels comfortable and conducive to productivity. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of comfort and productivity, they've made some nice improvements to touch screen panning and zooming on Windows devices. Oh, cool. So, you know, with more and more people using touch screens these days, right. it's essential to make sure that the software feels smooth and responsive on those devices. For sure. And, you know, it's a sign that they're thinking about the future of computing. Right. And making sure that LibreOffice stays accessible and user friendly, regardless of how people choose to interact with their devices. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. OK, now let's dive into some slightly more technical territory. All right. All righty. For all you power users and macro enthusiasts out there. Yes. 
ScriptForge has a bunch of new features. Oh, fantastic. What are they doing? So these updates are going to make macro scripting even more flexible and powerful, giving users more tools to automate tasks and create custom solutions within LibreOffice. So it's like they're giving you the keys to the engine and letting you tinker under the hood. That's fantastic. Right. So for those users who really want to push the limits of what's possible with LibreOffice, these ScriptForge enhancements are a game changer. Absolutely. Yeah. And last but not least, they've updated LaVizio and made some significant strides in Visio compatibility. Oh, nice. So this is great news for users who work with Visio files regularly. Right. Which is common in a lot of business and technical fields. Yeah. So improved compatibility means smoother collaboration and data exchange. Right. It makes it easier for teams to work together regardless of their preferred software. Exactly. It's all about breaking down those barriers and making sure that everyone can work together seamlessly. Right. So there you have it. Wow. LibreOffice 25.2 is packed with enhancements from little quality of life improvements yeah. to some really powerful new features. I think what's really cool is that there's this consistent focus on the user experience, yeah. like whether it's streamlining workflows, improving accessibility, or giving users more control over their environment. Right. These updates make LibreOffice even more intuitive and enjoyable to use. I totally agree. And let's not forget about those under the hood advancements that boost performance and compatibility. Right. They're setting the stage for even more impressive things to come. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Me too. Me too. This release has really raised the bar. It really has. So after taking this deep dive into LibreOffice 25.2, yeah. what stands out to you the most? You know, I think what really strikes me is that LibreOffice just continues to push the boundaries of what's possible with a free and open source office suite. Yeah. These updates aren't just about keeping up with the competition. They're about innovating and setting a new standard for what users can expect. I agree. It's inspiring to see a community-driven project achieve such a high level of quality and polish. Absolutely. And for our listeners out there, yeah. what are your thoughts? What new possibilities do you see opening up with these updates. What kind of tasks do you think LibreOffice will be even better suited for in the future? Hmm. I'm really curious to see how people use these new features and what creative solutions they come up with. Right. It's an exciting time to be a LibreOffice user. It really is. And as always, if you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with LibreOffice, yeah. feel free to reach out to us. Yes. We love hearing from our listeners. We do. We're always here to help you navigate the world of information and discover new tools and technologies. That's right. Until next time, happy diving. 